In the mythological age of mankind, mankind was in the period of agricultural and pastoral civilization. As a result, male gods and male heroes dominated the myths. Among the gods who created man, almost all of them were dominated by men, except for the Chinese Han nationality myths. The First Man In Greek mythology, the god who created man was Prometheus. The name Prometheus means foresight, as his name means. He should have foreseen the hardships he would have to endure in order to create man. There must have been a purpose in doing what he did, knowing that it would be difficult. Heaven and earth had been created. The sea ebbed and flowed between its shores, and fish frolicked in the waters. In the air sang winged birds, and the earth swarmed with animals. But as yet there was no creature in whose body the spirit could house and from there govern the world around it. Then down to earth came Prometheus, forethought, a descendant of the ancient race of gods which Zeus had dethroned, a son of Iapetus, whom Gaia had borne unto Uranus. Now Prometheus was crafty and nimble-wedded. He knew that the seed of heaven lay sleeping in the earth, so he scooped up some clay, moistened it with water from a river, kneaded it this way and that, and shaped it to the image of gods, the lords of the world. To give life to his earth-formed figure, he took both good and evil from the core of many animals and locked them in man's breast. He had a friend among the immortals, Athene, the goddess of wisdom, who marveled at what this son of the Titans had created, and she breathed the spirit, the divine breath, into his creature which, as yet, was only half alive. Epimetheus was the brother of Prometheus, and they were both sons of Iapetus, the first Titan god. Animals were created when Prometheus made man. Epimetheus was responsible for giving all kinds of talents to the various creatures that Prometheus created. He gave bravery to the lion, the ability to run fast to the hare, and keen eyesight to the eagle. And so one by one he gave all his good talents to the animals. As hindsight, Epicurus certainly did not have any plan to see beforehand. So in the end, when it came to man, he was left with nothing. So man is neither the bravest, nor the fastest, nor the toughest. Seeing that man is so mediocre, Prometheus had to impart intelligence and wisdom to man. In the Christian Bible, God also first created a man, Adam. Adam, in the Quran of Islam, it is translated as al Aden, which means the one who is in the world. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, and the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Similar to Greek mythology, God made the first man out of clay. Then the Lord God formed the man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living creature. And the Lord God planted a garden in Eden, in the east, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground the Lord God made to spring up every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life was in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. We have finished telling the story of the first man, and before we start the next chapter of the first woman, we would like you to know that myths and legends are records of mankind's awakening of self-consciousness. So, can you tell me when you first realized you were a man? How did you feel? Or if you're growing into a man for the first time, are there any unforgettable moments you'd like to share? Leave your feelings in the reply or write to me.
Tell me how you feel and indicate if you would like to share it publicly. Remember, follow me, subscribe to my channel, and don't miss out on the excitement.